earth. Now, we need faith to see the glory and greatness of God. If you're going to read the Gospel of St. John, chapter 11, okay? So it was, uh, please forgive me, no? it was uh, just uh, not uh, properly formatted now. No? Yeah, John 11, 38, 44, okay? This is the story, okay? Let, let, let's read this, let's read this Gospel, because uh, we can see how great our God is uh, here. Jesus wants, okay? Jesus wants more deeply moved, okay? Yeah, they waited. Uh, you, you, this is the story of Martha Maria and the last and last one. They're very close to the heart of Jesus. Jesus once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. You know, let me let me give you a little background before this passage. So uh, Jesus actually knew that Lazarus, his, Lazarus, his friend, goes to his side, is very very sick, very very sick. Okay, so Martha and Maria sent the messenger to tell Jesus. But uh, their brother is it. But you know what? Jesus just ignored it. Huh? Huh? Now maybe the reason why I'm sharing this with you, maybe you are at this point in time, you are Mark and per year. Okay? It seems that God is not responding to your call. But the truth is, Jesus came intentionally, okay? did not go right away, because you want to show something bigger to what they want. Okay? Martha and Maria just want healing, but Jesus wants resurrection. Okay? Hello? Hello? Okay, now let's, uh, let, let's focus now to the gospel, to the, to the, to the uh, verses that I want to, to, to focus on. Jesus wants more deeply moved because Lazarus is very, very close to his heart. Came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is already a bad odor, for he has been there for days. And when for days? Why do you think uh, the gospel focus for the four days? You know, people that I believe that the spirit get out of the person on the third day. And the third day. So Jesus just want to to, 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 to to remind the people okay, and to remove their doubt that truly he is the life and the resurrection. Okay? To be sure, to be sure that the man is really, really dead. Okay? So he waited for four days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you? Now listen, this is this is it. Did not I tell you that if you have faith, you will see how great our God is. So Martha was reminded. Martha was reminded. So she restored her faith. And because of her faith, what happened? The four days old death rose. Yeah. Hello? Yes. What do you think are those dead? It's not for dead dreams. Okay? Dead goes. I have a witness for you. If everything seems to be bad already, I have a witness for you. Today can be the resurrection day. Yeah. 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 You know what you need to do, then? Right? You know, maybe some of you are already very, very committed, very, very firm in your faith in your God. And you're very, very sure that if God will take you now, you're very, very sure that you will enter heaven. But you know what? When you need to continue doing this, this is what I call investing in mercy. Maybe you don't need it directly anymore. Maybe yeah, yeah, uh, your husband needs it, your children needs it, your children needs it, it, it. This is what you want to invest in worship. And listen to the promise of God. When you serve the Lord, when you serve the Lord, and when you have faith in the Lord. What is the promise of God? You and your house will be saved. You and your children will be mighty in the land. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? For my children, for my grandchildren, for my loved ones. So maybe actually if you have a problem, if you have trouble, okay, uh, with your family, maybe not, uh, not for you anymore, they're ready to anymore, you need to do this for them. Yeah. 